what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're about to go over two important college 25 adjustments okay if you're new to the channel drop a thumbs up on the video if you have any kind of questions if you need any kind of help let me know in the comment section and the full scheme out of my 335 tight defensive playbook will be updated in the membership down below become a member on the channel get exclusive videos i'm also overhauling my entire patreon and the ebooks ncaa in madden 25 i have about six uploads coming for you guys but let's get right into today's breakdown All right, the number one key that you need to always do before you even start a game is go into your depth chart. See what kind of weaknesses you have on the defensive side of the ball. So if you go to Florida, we're going to go to wide receivers. Look at his wide receivers. We have a 96 speed, 95 speed. His top three people are 91, 93, 92. Okay, so... Now we're going to go to cornerbacks on my team that I like to use. We're going to go to Florida State. And you can see my fastest guy is 92 speed. Now, I do have abilities on them, but we don't have the fastest guy. So go in there, put yourself in the best situation possible to be able to lock down on defense. What does that mean? That's when you got to bring in hybrid coverages. You can't run a lot of man with a lot of green field because... With 96, 97 speed on the offensive side, if they have time in the pocket, they're going to be able to beat you deep. So that brings me to the next point. Make sure that you are using hybrid coverages and mixing in blitzes. Today, you guys are in luck because no matter what kind of speed you have or defense, you're going to be able to generate pressure. Okay, so we are in the 335 mint. Now you do have to make adjustments. I'm in the slot cornerback package down at the bottom. Right stick is gonna get you there. You're gonna have the deep half adjustments instead of the outside thirds. Now you're gonna substitute certain people in right here on the line. I want my best pass rusher right here where the star is at. He usually plays right here. I want him right here in the middle. He's gonna get 80% of one-on-ones. If the outside blitzer don't come in, he's gonna dominate his guy. Now for the adjustments, we're gonna put defensive motion response disabled. Auto flip on, conservative and aggressive. We're going to start off with no zone drops, okay? You're going to make small tweaks depending on what your opponent shows you. So first, we're going to come out and cover six. So let's say my opponent is a meta player, gun trips tight end, okay? So this is what I'm looking like. I'm in a cover four shell. So the first thing I'm going to do is first play, I'm going to go right deep pad two times go to square man him up and then i'm going to take my safety deep half him and i'm going to touch him okay now i'm going to move this guy out and that's going to come into play later i deep half that guy because if they doing four verticals and just want to chuck the ball up down the field we have matching principles on the left plus help over the outside now i'm going to stay about right here i want to be able to help with the run okay but if it's a pass i want to have great defense as far as passing too so right here we're going to be like okay he send him out the running back out that way and verticals okay so i'm going to come right here i'm going to start off holding right trigger and then we're going to come down once they hike the ball i'm going to loop around then strafe see where the ball is trying to go and we're going to have good pressure now if you look down the field you're going to see where's the weakness at okay so if your opponent is looking down the field Okay, so right there, he could have hit the running back out the backfield right away. Okay, pressure is in his face. Now right there, we have the deep half over the top. He can pass lead it to the middle of the field, but now we have somebody in his face. Okay, so right there, it don't look like it's open. He can try to break a tackle and then throw it down the field. So on that play, the running back was really the only person open and we had the blitz pressure. So this time we're going to set it up again. We're going to go right deep pad two times, man him up. Now you can put an inside third. We're going to give him a different look. Move him out like you're doing that blitz pressure. And now I man that person up. That's what I mean by not overhauling your defense. Just make small tweaks. So if he comes out again, he's like, okay, that running back wide open in the flats. We're going to do this setup again. So 
We're going to come down. Now I'm going to blitz my user to get the four man pass rush. Okay. Make sure that you have the four man pass rush so your block sheds are a little faster. Now we're going to come right here. Boom. He's going to look. Running back's not open no more. He tried to throw it down the field. We still have great coverage on the play with a small adjustment. Okay. So the first time we had the blitz set up. This time he's looking to the right. Dang, the running back ain't open. Once his eyes come back down the field this way, where is he going to throw the ball to? Once you look back down the field, it's pressure all in his face. He can't take off running. He does break the sack because that's college football, but that is great defense. Now, let's say corner routes. It's going to be the same thing. I'm going to always right deep pad two times, man that guy up. Now, he's going to bring... The running back underneath, smoke route, streak, and corner. This is another meta setup. So he's going to have a corner to the left, a corner to the right by the tight end, and a smoke screen by the square icon. Okay? He's bringing the running back underneath. Now, if he does that, we move him out, and he brings the running back underneath. I can come right here, push the audible, and lock myself in, and I can go, boom, left trigger. We're going to have fast pressure. Two people come in. None of the deep routes get a chance to even get open. So if we look at this again, okay, if he doesn't block that running back, look at that. Pressure right there and the best pass rusher. Remember, I told you the best pass rusher is going to get that one-on-one. -on -one. So we have him on the end. He tries to break the sack. Boom. Okay, so let's look at down the field. The smoke screen with the hybrid match defense, he runs to him. We have help over the top. Now, you can switch stick to them again. We're going to set it up. So, we're going to go right D-pad, man him up, move him out. You can man him up or you can leave him blitzing. We're going to bring him in. Now, we're going to go to that place, smoke screen, streak, corner. Let's try to send the running back underneath or the running back out. It's all up to them or they might block the running back. If you blitz your user, then you're going to switch stick with the O instead of with the right stick. So after you switch stick originally with the O, you're going to do it in the direction. Then you start going back with the switch stick. So we're going to come, boom, switch off to him right here to that corner route. Great, great defense. Now, in the membership, I'm going to go way into depth with my full 335 tight scheme. I have about three to four different formations. You have max coverage. You have adjustments against all the meta plays and insane blitzes in a lot of different formations appreciate all y'all ebook patreon memberships all getting ready to be updated a lot of content let me know in the comment section what do you struggle with on defense and i will cook it up for y'all let's go